Welcome, we are live here from Hillside for race number 16 of the NAF tour. And today you guys get to hear my sick voice for this commentary, so, you know. But anyways, um, we're on board with Paul Donlin, obviously, as we go around this track. Um, let's take a look at our standings right now in the playoffs. This is the first race, obviously. Out of five, we're doing Winston points to the end, so. You just basically have to be consistent and not suck, and... That's what all these guys are looking to do today. Seth Peters on top, obviously. Paul Donlin, Alan Mooch, Nick Nelson, Zach Stern, Tyler King, Caleb Marinelli, Justin Ricci, Carter Jones, and finally, JDF and Bregler. As we look at the... Does that say Breglar? Breglar. Oh, no. We pulled the Zach Stern. That's it. I quit. I retire from NAFAR and spreadsheets entirely. It's over. It's done. Well, anyways, <laughs> we're going to get into the starting lineup. Cars are rolling off pit road, obviously. And today I'm doing another solo commentary. I'll probably do that for maybe even the rest of the season. Maybe we'll do something for the championship. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, let's just take a looky-looky here. Saw the starting lineup, obviously. All these playoff drivers up front. Well, besides Nick Nelson. But he's, that's kind of expected. <laughs> They're going around here taking this pace lap. This track is a... Uh, it's kind of a mix between an intermediate and a short track. It's, it's a weird track. It's like Dover, but more banked. So, anyway, pace car pulls off. Green flag. Alan Mooch gets a big jump. Sailing down to turn one. Alan Mooch leading by about three car lengths over JDF and Bregler. And Paul Donlin trying to get to the inside of him. As you can see, they're kind of training in both the lanes. Oh, no, Caleb. Caleb making it three wide and Seth Peters. And the leaders are already starting to spread out, though. Oh, they're still three wide. Three playoff drivers back here mid-pack battling three wide. That's not good. Caleb Marinelli dives at the inside on Seth Peters. There's Dontavious Young right behind Seth Peters. Trying to make a good day out of his second outing. Alan Mooch already completely gone from the rest of the pack. It's Justin Ricci. 
Kept Allen. Oh, JD caught him a lot in that turn. That's the thing about this track. In the middle of the turn, it looks like they're fairly spread out, and they can get to be. Oh, Logan Speed's on pit road. Or not, he's, not on pit, he's on the apron. Looks like he's coming to pit road, though. Yeah, that's the thing. They get fairly spread out, but it only takes one slip up, and they're right back to your back bumper. So don't count anyone out until it's over. Don Tavies to the inside of Caleb Marinelli. Here's a replay of what happened to Logan Speed. Oh! That's weird. I don't know what he was doing there. Anyways, we're back live. We're looking at Zach Stern, obviously, riding around in ninth position. Seth Peters, pressure from behind. Whoa! That was almost bad for Seth Peters. He's running in 10th right now. I don't know if it's just me, but it looks like he's slowing up this pack behind him. Seth doesn't look to be as fast as these guys. I don't know. Intermediates aren't his specialty, so we'll see. Anyways, Alan Mooch still leading. We have 60 laps here today, so it's going to seem kind of long, but we're already almost 10 laps through this thing, so. Justin Reisha to the inside of Paul Donlin. He won't be able to do anything. Paul gets the run off the corner. Tyler trying to get past Justin Ricci. That's his teammate. Justin Ricci made it evidently clear last race that he is not afraid to wreck his teammates for his own benefit. So Tyler beats. She should be scared being there. Here comes Carter as well. Oh, and Tyler clears him. Sydney Allen's running pretty far up there. Nick Nelson. Something's wrong with that car. I don't know. He ran really good earlier in the season, but he's just fallen off recently. He's getting passed by the second-to-last place car. As a playoffs driver, that shouldn't be happening, Mikey. Well, James O'Maki and freaking Baron Poole looked like they're off the pace. I don't know what happened there. Must have gotten in the wall or something. Dontavious trying to get around Seth Peters. This will knock Seth out of the top 10 if he can do it. Oh, we had to check up big time there. Zach Stern goes high. Here comes Seth Peters. Stern should get a good run off the outside, though. Dontavious is Zach Stern's teammate. He's currently filling in for Brian Leon, who got injured at Chicagoland, obviously. JD's right on the bumper of Alan Mooch. That was quick. Oh, look at the guys behind him. They're absolutely just... See, that's how quick things can change here. Carter Jones to the inside of Justin Ricci. J.D. still has nothing for Alan Mooch, though. They will have to make a couple... I don't know if it's one pit stop or a couple pits. They might have to They have to at least pit once in this race. Just keep that in mind, too. They've all kind of single filed out, though, really. Ethan O'Connor to the inside of Ray Dagan. Ethan O'Connor in his first race last... Well, first race, last race... He absolutely put on a show for us, leading tons of laps in his first ever NAFART start. That's cool for him. Dontavious trying to get around Justin. They're going to hang Sydney out to dry on the high side. Paul Dowland, Justin Ricci, and Carter Jones. Will Carter get to the inside of Justin? No, but he will try and pass Donlin. It looks like he will clear him. Dontavious Young still trying to get around Justin Newman. These two drivers both not in the playoffs. Oh, Justin Newman in the wall.
Tanner Campos to the back bumper of Seth Peters. Justin Newman with a run off the high side. Alan Mooch still leading. JDF and Bregler still about four car lengths behind. Benjamin Deloney on pit road. I don't know if that's scheduled or... I think it is. Don Tavies to the inside of Sidney Allen with help from Caleb Marinelli. Here's these guys jostling back here. James Omaki trying to get around Ethan O'Connor. James has had a really fast car. He felt like he was good. Oh, look at him. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he felt like he had a really fast car here today, but from that early incident, he just had to start back there, and he's caught back up, and he's passing these guys. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no. Sit in the inside wall. What was that? They all stack. Oh, leaders on pit road. That's what that was. They all stacked up there. I'm not sure what happened. Oh, they're still stacking up. Whoa. All right. I don't know what happened there. All these guys. Okay, here comes all the leaders. Or the rest of the leaders, I should say. Oh, James Omaki stays out as well as Patrick. Oh, no. Oh, no. Justin. That's the second time you've done that this season. Oh, I don't think he's getting that thing refired. Oh, no. Nick coming off pit road. Here they all come. And the caution is out. There's your, I'm so confused. This is literally Martinsville 2016 all over again. Caution game out in the middle of green flag pit stop. So it's going to be weird to see where everybody shuffles out after this one. Here, these guys all come off pit road. See Justin Newman there with all that damage. It's about Sidney Allen. Oh, Allen Mooch down pit road again. Maybe he had a pass through penalty? I don't know. This is weird. Playoff contender Nick Nelson in front of him. He's not having a good day so far. Into the box. Yeah, it looked like a stop and go. I don't know, maybe got a penalty or something. I'm not sure. The NAFART officials are not freaking... Giving me that information at this time. Logan Speed diving down pit road as well as Tanner Camp. Oh, all these guys are coming down pit road too. All these people who already pitted are coming down pit road again for some reason. That's, you know, not going to question it. Another NAFR replay. Let's see what happened to Sid. Oh, he has to check up big time because Paul Donlin's coming down pit row and he just, Justin Newman didn't get the memo. Back live. Here's how they all shuffled out coming off pit road. I don't know. That was a weird set of stops. Seth Peters in the back now for some reason. Bunch of confusion after that. A bunch of people are complaining over the radios. I don't even know. I don't know. It looks like the big winner's on this stop. Dante Vies killing Caleb Marinelli. Brandon Allen shuffles out third. We haven't heard that name in a while.
Quinn Yeager, is he in fourth? Yeah, he is. Alan Mooch in fifth. You know, it turned out better than I thought it would for him. Oh, my gosh. Paul Donlin, it says he's in sixth. Seventh, Ravid Dagan. Eighth, Tanner Campos. Ninth, JDF and Bregler. And tenth, Zach Sturt. Here's all these lap cars lining up on the bottom lane. First one is Nick Nelson, playoff driver. I was called to be in the booth while I'm dying of sickness, so. <laughs> It'd be cool to see any of these front guys win. Dontavious Young, he's a really new driver. That'd be cool. Caleb Marinelli hasn't gotten one yet. Brandon Allen hasn't gotten one yet. Quinn Yeager, he's got two, but mm, just a cool team win. Alan Mooch and Paul Donlin buying them. Into the restart zone, pace car dives down. Green flag back in the air. Dontavious pulls away in turn one. Caleb's still fighting those lap cars. He's going to get a runoff turn, though. He might be able to clear him. No, he won't. Nick Nelson sold his inside. Alan Mooch stuck behind these lap cars. Dontavious Young, Caleb Marinelli, absolutely gone. Oh my God. Logan, oh my gosh. They're all jostling for position back here. Oh, Tanner's off the pace. He's going to hold up everybody behind him, including playoff driver Seth Peters, Justin Ricci, and Carter Jones. Oh, what's he doing? He's still off the pace. These guys are all stuck behind him. Oh, that's two playoff drivers right there. It's not going to be good for them. Caleb trying to hunt down Dontavious. They have pulled away from the rest of the pack. Contact Justin Ricci and Colin Dover. Nothing much is happening. We're just looking through the field here. Kylie Grider in front of Dylan Jones. Those are teammates. Caleb lost a little round there on Dontavious. We're a little over halfway through this race. Dontavious just has to hold him off the best he can. And he seems to be doing that. He's kind of pulling away. Caleb gains a little bit there. Alan Mooch, your third place car, stuck behind these lap cars. Oh, there's a big jumbo of cars right here. James and Mark. Yo, JD! Oh, JD's off the pace. Something in the car had to have broke for it to go that. Oh. He's still off the pace. Blocking the same group of guys that got blocked before. Oh, Tanner almost hooked him. I don't know what's wrong with that car. Oh, Caleb's right up to the back bumper of Dontavious. Caleb gets to run off the corner. JD's on pit road. Here's your leaders. Dontavious pulls away that time. Mm -hmm. 
Zach Stern to the inside of Paul Donlin. Carter Jones on pit road. Yeah, it looks like these are scheduled stops then. Ass racing team made up of the 88 and the 4 here. Alan Moot trying to get around them. These two leaders are just absolutely gone. You can't even see anybody in sight behind them. Oh, Brandon Allen dives down pit road, as well as James Omaki. Dontavious Young still leading. Oh, Caleb Baronelli makes the dive down to pit road. Doesn't look like anybody else will, though. Oh, nope, that's a lie. Couple more contenders down pit road. Oh, Sydney Allen and Carter Jones make contact. Dontavious, your leader's down pit road. These guys all staying out. Justin Ricci. He's lobbing some laps out there. He's looking pretty fast. Whoa, James Omaki. Oh, there they go down pit road. James Omaki's life. Oh, JD's in the grass. James Omaki's life just flashed for his eyes there. Oh, my gosh. These guys pulling off pit road, obviously. Ethan O'Connor trying to get... Oh! Smoke rolling out the back of Logan Speed's car. He might have lost an engine. That's certainly what it looks like, because there's no other damage. Yeah, I think he just lost an engine. I don't know how that would have happened, though. You know, I mean, he was running in last place before that anyway, so... These guys pulling off pit road. What is the difference between the leaders? Carter Jones still having a really fast car. Trying to make up for last race. Right, but dang and your leader goes to pull off pit road. Oh, Caleb Baronelli is car in front of him looks like Quinn Yeager he's your new leader he passed Dontavious off pit road clearly Dontavious right here not that far behind him Brandon Allen in third surprisingly Will this lap car of Quinn Yeager hold up, Caleb, though, or will he let him by? Dontavious. Let's see if he gains any this lap. Oh, yeah, he gained a ton there. Caleb needs to get by that lap car. Brandon Allen challenging Zach Stern. No clear him for third. Kylie Greider and Carter Jones side by side here. Going into this turn. Caleb Marinelli still leading. Can't seem to get around Quinn Yeager, though. Oh, and the caution lights are on. Oh, no! Seth Peters, Carter Jones. 
Huge playoff implications. Oh my, oh, Tanner Campos. Seth Peters and Carter Jones. Absolutely massive playoff implications there. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to say. We're going to get a NAFART replay here. Carter and Kylie side by side. Oh, Carter. What was that? Oh, and here comes Seth. Oh, oh Nick Nelson. Another playoff driver. Heavy damage. Here's our helicopter view. Oh, Carter. I don't know if he was trying to come to pit road or if something on his car just broke on him. Hard hits, though. I haven't seen anything like that. I'm um, with Tanner Campos. Oh, and there's nowhere he could go. We're back live. Look at that lap counter. The laps are winding down. We're going to have a fun little restart here. Who will win? I have no idea. We'll have to wait and see. Caleb Baranelli out front, um, trying to get his first win of the season. You know, he's had a tons of good finishes, just no luck on getting that win. Dontavious Young, it's like his second start, I think, actually. He's trying to get a win also. Ran well in his first race, too, before getting dumped by Dylan Jones. Brandon Allen, you know, he's just not had a good year, Mikey. Zach Stern, he's a playoff driver. He already has a win this season, trying to go for number two. Paul Donlin. He's trying to go for number three after his choke last race. I think he'd love to get redemption. Saw Carter Jones sitting on pit road. His day is most likely done. Here they come. Down the back stretch. Looks like we're going to go green with six to go. See who gets the win. Here we go. Pace car pulls off. Caleb Marinelli. Green flag back in the air. Zach Stern already trying to get around Brandon Allen. Here comes Paul Donlin. These two are already starting to pull away. He's still right on his back bumper, though. These guys all jostling back here for position. Caleb Bernelli. It's a big run. He's going to gain tons of uh, freaking ground on that car. Car behind him. Dontavious, he's going to get a run. Dontavious, will he be able to get there? Oh, he gets another run. He's there. Dontavious looks like he is the faster car. Right to that back bumper. Three laps to go. Caleb Marinelli, he is absolutely just trying to hold on the best he can. Dontavious right behind him. Oh, this is going to be two to go.
He's trying to hold them all. Battling back here. Oh, Benjamin Deloney's on the apron. That's weird. Coming around this turn. Back onto the front stretch. One lap to go for Caleb Marinelli. Will he be able to hold off Dontavious? Dontavious, he's been keeping the same amount of ground. They have pulled away from everybody behind him. I don't think he's going to have enough to get there unless he dive bombs him, though. Caleb Marinelli, he has been trying his damn darnest bestest. And today, it will be enough. Caleb Marinelli will win the first race of the playoffs. As they all cross the line behind him. Caleb Marinelli, finally a winner in the NAFAR. And that's really going to help him for his championship run. What a race. What a finish. Here he comes. Oh, into the wall. He's burning it down. Man, what a day. He is still burning it down. He has finally gotten it done after such a good season up to this point. Anyways, we're going to go ahead here and we're going to take a look at your playoff standings after this race. Here you are, Caleb Marinelli, obviously the leader. But yeah, I'm just going to let you look at these and uh, see you later. See ya. Uh, Zen Joltis.